something I've had to learn and I've never been good at, but I'm getting better, okay? I'm getting better at it. everybody welcome back to my channel if you had a great day a great night and if you saw the title this is 10 dating tips I wish I knew sooner all right so I've gone on so many dates a lot of first dates um, multiple like farther all that blah 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 dated a lot um, and there's a lot of I've learned over the years a lot of dating advice I've gotten and this is this is the top 10 top 10 Things I wish I would have known sooner that make dating a whole lot easier. So number one, it's okay to be picky. Just don't, they don't have to be perfect, okay? If, this is this is the best thing. I love hearing this. I love when I heard this. If someone was perfect, why would they like you? And take that into consideration if they were perfect, but it is still okay to be picky because it's a hard world, there's a lot of, horrible dating stuff there's a lot of people out there that are just not for you um, so to be picky but don't feel like they'd be perfect people can sell flaws that's why you date is you try to figure out what things you're willing to work through and what things don't work but don't be too picky because no one's perfect number two is to meet people you gotta go out and socialize just because <laughs> Like honestly, this one's like you're sitting at home. It's really hard to meet people is just being out there and socializing and meeting greatest thing um, Because even if you're not finding people to date you're making friends and maybe those friends will set you up with someone All right number three If the person is not pursuing you don't waste your time trying to get their attention trying to save them um, and all that don't try to force if they're interested they will show you they're interested and they'll put forth the work they will put you priority they'll put you out there and you'll feel it they won't put half effort of like oh kind of message but not okay you want someone that's going to be there for you 24 7 and there to help if they're not pursuing you if they're not responding to your texts your calls whatever leave them in the dust move on they're not interested or not interested enough that's great oh i'm sorry Oh, my puppy. I just got a new puppy and he's dreaming really loud. <laughs> okay, okay, that's adorable. Number four. This is something that no one ever talks about and I don't think they put enough focus in, but it should be. Is the career of your spouse can change your whole life, whole aspect. Made mostly for girls. If you're looking to date a guy, the guy is kind of your main breadwinner, not in every situation, so take this as it is. Um, but the guy usually is like the main breadwinner and does that. So if he's a doctor, he's gonna be in the medical field, he's gonna be gone a lot. If he's a blue collar job, he is going to be coming home dirty. Then you're gonna be really living, and like, I don't know, just like your way of living is different by like the career and how much aspect that changes into things now it even changes if the girl has maybe a maybe higher paying job she's going in to be a doctor or a lawyer or something these are just examples um then maybe she's doing that more and the guy was gonna be at home more like there's just so much aspect and i don't hear this ever talked about um is the career of people um when you're dating um i started really realizing probably last year is the kind of career that they're going for is kind of what you're going to end up with so find a career that you really are interested in for them not interested but like when you're dating someone you're saying do I want that kind of lifestyle um, are they a musician are they gonna travel a lot are they a doctor and be gone a lot or are they working a nine-to-five office job and they'll be here consistently every single day like you you have to put that into his perspective um, if you're dating kind of what you want and the kind of person also by their career really determines a person on who they are so it's really good I feel like this is something if you talked about to determine more um, because it does change the whole aspect of your future all right number five is giving people a chance that you normally wouldn't um, sometimes first impression people give off something and you're like I would never be with them I would never give them a chance there's this there's that too young, too tall, too short, weird personality, I've heard weird stuff, like we come up with these assumptions in our head and they may be right or they may be wrong. And I have never been someone 
to say you have to go on a first date. Don't believe in that. If you're not feeling comfortable, if you automatically, like there's sometimes people you just absolutely know nothing will happen. But there's a lot of chances too where there's people you meet and you're like, ah, like I don't think so. Like they seem like a fun person. Um, I don't think anything would ever happen. Um, but I just encourage you to go on those dates because sometimes those are the most unexpected and ones that end up being the best. So give people a chance that would be unexpected because sometimes come back to the, it's okay to be picky, but sometimes the people unexpected are the ones that are amazing. And you never know that unless you go on that date and get to know them. Now sometimes you're friends and you get to know that all before, but sometimes you should take it off and amazing things will happen. Number six. This is one I really struggle with, and I think most people do, is we struggle with feeling we're imperfect, we have so many flaws, and when we go on dates, we don't want others to see those flaws. And what if those flaws are really the thing that attracts the other person to you the most? Yes, breathe this in. I used to go on dates and feel like I had so many quirks and things that like I didn't want someone I'm dating to know quite yet because I was afraid of what they would think. And there's just so many things wrong with that because one, I'm hiding things that are probably very defining to me and they're gonna find out sooner or later. And honestly, I want them to find out sooner because if they're not the one, get out of my life. Get out of my life, honey. Don't. And two, those are the best parts of you usually. These are parts that you want someone to see and be attracted to. So why are you trying to hide them? Just be yourself. List all the things you like, all the things you want to do, the way you want your life to be, and the right person will be attracted to that. And you won't need to worry about any of those. Okay? Just be yourself and everything else falls into place. Okay? That's when dating is more successful, that's when you get to know people, you start attracting people that you really like and you really want in your life. So be honest, be straightforward, and just be you. Don't try to put on a show, don't try to be better or worse or whatever it is. Just be you and the right one will come along. Number seven, just because you are ready doesn't mean the person that God has ready for you is ready. Yes very very hard one because here's some people I'm ready I've been working myself I've been committing I've been doing this I've been doing that I've been like doing all stuff and I just feel ready to commit to a relationship to commit to future to commit to marriage and it's just not working and that is the case many many times now sometimes we think we're ready and God says no you're not I still have many blessings and lessons for you to learn and that is gonna be your whole entire life. So don't feel like you have to wait a million years <laughs> to be there. But what you don't know is the person who God has prepared to you might not be ready, okay? Okay, it's very frustrating, but you'll find out later why. You don't know what they're going through, what life lessons they need to be learning. They might be a little slower on that. They may have been faster and you weren't ready and now God's like, okay, I've gotta sort everything out. But he will. He will do everything in the right timing. He will get everything together. And when it happens, you will find the answers and you'll be like, oh, whoa, this is why it happened. Thank you, God. Sorry for being impatient. So just try to be as patient as you can because you never know what they're gonna be, what's happening, okay? Number eight. Don't doubt that God has someone planned for you and just become so desperate that you'll fall for anyone. God has someone planned for you. I don't believe there's like the one, but I do believe there is someone God is guiding you to and it's going to be really good. Um, I love how my parents always listed it as God has like the one and if you're like living all the commandments and doing your best to lead that person to you. But if that person is not coming to you, there's someone else that God has prepared. Um, if, they're, if you're not living up to you, well then God has like a second choice and a third choice and fourth, like so on. So I believe there's like several people that could be kind of out there, but I honestly believe if you're trying to do everything you can and everything 
the other person is too. God's gonna lead those two people together um, and everything will work out in the end. And you never know what the timing or where you need to be. Um, don't just sit around and just say, okay, God, send it to me. Be in places where you could meet someone if you get promptings to move, if you get promptings to go to a certain event, um, to a game night, or call up a friend, or whatever, like, you, you don't know. Be in places and in situations where you can meet people, but not in desperate of, oh, this is never gonna happen, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Honestly, sometimes you're not doing wrong. It's just not the right timing, as hard as that is. But, Patience. Patience is something I've had to learn and I've never been good at it, but I'm getting better, okay? I'm getting better at it. Without God, he's leading you to someone, he's preparing someone for you, and it will all work out, okay? It's hard sometimes because when you want to be in a relationship, you want to get married, and it's not happening, it's kind of those low points. But, be patient, and it will all happen. God is in control, and he will do amazing things. Number nine, just because it was a great date doesn't mean they're the one. It's one of the most frustrating things when you go on a date, you feel like it, you're vibing so well, they're vibing so well, everything is so great, and then nothing after it. They don't text back, they don't respond, maybe there's a little bit and then it dies off and you're like, what is going on? Because it just seemed amazing. And honestly, sometimes we don't know the answers of why um, why that happened, why we need to go through that. Sometimes it was just kind of learned. Like you get closer. Dating is really about um, finding people who are similar and what you're looking for. And so even though that, that person might not be the one you're going to end up with, you get a better idea of what you are looking for and you want to strive towards that. And so God puts those people in our lives so we can see what like a good, worthy, amazing daughter, son of God is. Um, but there's for some reason they're not for you, but God has somewhat even better planned for you. And so to be patient for that moment. But taking those moments is not disappointing that the person didn't message you back and all this stuff, but taking it as what can I learn from this and how can I be better from this situation? And number 10, just because someone doesn't want to go on a date with you, doesn't want to go on a second, doesn't like you, doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you or bad, okay? I have gone on so many dates and I'm like, oh, it's going great. They're a great person. I feel like it'd be great. And then they don't like me. They ghost me or something happens. And it doesn't mean there's anything wrong. Honestly, you have two amazing, great people, but even like interests are same. Um, you, they may be what you're attracted to um, in personality and looks um, and interest, but maybe there's something that they know from their past or something they're interested in. You can have two great, honest, like amazing people and it's just different things. Like for me, I really like hard worker. I love blue collar um, jobs. I love like living on the farm. And so there's been guys who I've been interested in, but I know that's not kind of like the lifestyle I want to live. Like I want to live on a farm. I want to live in the middle of the country. And if that's not their goal, I just, I know that's not going to happen because that is just what I want. And so sometimes it's something as simple as just like that. Um, but you never know like what's going on, why it's happening. People just, there's, there's stuff in their past. Maybe sadly you remind them of someone who hurt them in the past and you're an amazing, awesome person, but those memories are just too hard right now to go through. And you, you never know, um, and so not to be hard on someone because they don't want to date you, but just take that again as a learning experience. God has someone planned for you and just because it's not this person who you thought was really great, doesn't mean you're hopeless. Stuff's gonna happen, it's gonna be amazing, it's all going to work out. So keep patient. <laughs> hey, patient. Grand like 11th, be patient. <laughs> Cause, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's your bonus. Being patient is hard, but it's worth it. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, well, I hope you love these tips. These are dating tips I wish I knew sooner. Dating advice I wish I implemented sooner because some of them I knew and I just didn't. Um, but life is amazing and everything will work out in God's timing. And even if it's not in this earth world, you'll find someone in the other. Instead of this, I'm sorry. But 
keep patient. There's a lot of good things I've learned, I've implemented, and dating has been successful and a lot easier since. So, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please push the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know what dating tips you want me to talk about next. And keep in tune because I do have a lot of cool ideas coming up. It's gonna be awesome. Hope you have a great day, great night, God bless.